So tell me, tell me, what uh, are the biggest challenges of uh, the people in this, in this space? Okay, what's the biggest challenges for nonprofits in our society? And uh, what are, are the what, what what can what can everyday people what can what can they do to help if 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 possible? Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. So different nonprofits have different needs. Yeah. Right? Okay. But if, but from the cost of I mean just consulting and helping nonprofits, it's three things. Funding, mm. funding is number one. Then in terms of structure or human capital, having people okay. who can say, look, every Saturday I'm going to come to the food bank to help, or oh, look, um, I'm a, you know, I'm a management consultant. I can help you guys with your auditing for free. Let's work together. We know that you guys are doing some X Y Z in this X Y Z space. So okay. human capital, we need people. We need people like yourself who can say, look, every Saturday, you know what? I'm going to give two hours of my time to work with X Y Z organization and this is the skill set i have so human capital funding and finally um just as a as a collective team just be able to have a system that allows you to grow so take for instance in nigeria now you have things like leap africa the lagos business school that have created resources for non-profits to be able to help them or you know skill the work understand the work that they are doing so so when you see a nonprofit that starts um, for three years and then after three years they just zap out of the of of like the of a, a distance, yeah, yeah, it's not because these people are not passionate. Sometimes they are suffocated um, by result of maybe no funding, um, people are not helping, um, yeah. But what I would say all the time to people is this: treat your nonprofit like it's a for profit. Okay. Yeah, people always have this mindset that oh, it's, it's, it's not for the NGO work. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. The way Apple is going to invest in their branding, you need to find creative ways. Maybe not spend that same amount of money or even spend clothes, even not, but find creative ways where you can also invest in your branding. The way Coca-Cola yeah. Coca will talk about their organization culture, have an organ organization culture, the way companies like Google tell you what their, their plans are going to be in 10, 25 years. Have that blueprints. Don't just because we are trying to help people, we are trying to save people. So we can just let you no. Know, don't do that. So many of the nonprofits have become so. I mean, you see, just like the Red Cross, you see World Central Kitchen, No Kid Hungry, you see what Total Foundation. These guys have been here for twenty five years, eighty three years. You know, so so founders need to be to think from this framework that look, yes, funding, human capital, and just that ability to increase your knowledge bank. There are yeah. key factors that destroy a lot of non-profits, but founders who are listening to me or who are going, eventually going to become founders, this is the framework you frame of mind I want you to have. Think long term. Think yeah. long term. Think long term. Wow, that's good. That is great. See, I can tell you, uh, listen to you. Uh, I can tell you, you have learned so many things outside school. Okay. Because yeah, you are basically speaking like uh, a business executive. Hmm. That's, that's, that's a great, that's a great honor. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are speaking just like a, a business executive. That's that's very good. That means uh, uh, your work has uh, helped you develop so much capacity to to be more uh valuable to mm. your community yeah. i'm i'm so glad to to know this <laughs>